right. We are gathered here today to look at my ribbon burner forge. So it's a little dusty. I haven't uh, <sighs> I haven't used it in a, in a few days. I'm outside under a tarp. So, but anyway, so a lot of people do the forced air for a ribbon burner. Um, to my knowledge, I've only seen one video on YouTube of a gentleman doing a naturally aspirated ribbon burner, which I think he posted it within this year or the end of last year. I don't exactly remember, but the first time of me ever hearing of a natural aspirated ribbon burner was two years ago, two or three years ago from a gentleman who goes by the name of Frosty who lives out in Alaska and uh, so I figured I'd give it a shot his designs different though so with a regular ribbon burner you have the straight pipe coming in and then directly underneath the pipe you have some kind of plate that's a little lower down with multiple holes in it and it can have an angle to it to push to spread out the gas so you get all the holes that are throughout your ribbon to burn you know evenly but instead of the straight pipe he had it coming directly out the side so when the gas hits it, and he didn't have the plate on the inside so and his design worked great it was excellent actually it probably works just as good as the one that I have right now so I didn't do that because I already had this piece because this was originally a forced air ribbon uh, it's a very small ribbon as you can see it's 18 17 18 hole I don't know if I counted right but like I said, it's very small. It's only six inches long, I think. If I have a ruler laying around somewhere, uh, of course I do. Yeah, six inches. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, six. It's six by two and a half. So, like I said, this was from a forced air ribbon, which this had the straight pipe. It was coming up the elbow, and then there was another pipe coming down with the airflow and all that down here, and the gas inlet on the side. Well, with this, I just have the Venturi at the end. I've seen people do this with just one inch pipe, like this black pipe here, but this is what I had. And this was, I already had this all welded up. I didn't want to grind it out and risk destroying it. So I just put the elbow to help mix the fuel. The straight pipe. The 2 inch to 1 inch bell. 1 inch black iron pipe. To an aluminum sand casted Venturi. Which are sold on Amazon. They work pretty well. They're not perfectly centered. But they're center enough to get the job done. Alright, so at first, alright, so the orifice with a ribbon is generally, I wouldn't say a sixteenth, maybe a little smaller than a sixteenth of a hole. What I'm using is a .030 MIG tip, so that's much smaller than your average ribbon burner uh, jet nozzle. Actually, no, I'm not using a MIG-TIC. I'm using a proper uh, propane nozzle. I had another one laying around here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it's right here. Broke it off of a grill. So it just has a cast aluminum around it. But that's the orifice. Very small. Very, very small. It's, I think it's the same exact size as an 030 MIG-TIC. It looks it anyway. So, but at first fire up, it's a little wonky, I guess, like it doesn't burn perfectly even. 
so we'll, we'll put you down there for now so I get this lit. it up a little bit just so you can see it. What is that? 5 PSI? Kick it better. Bring it back down. It's already at zero. So this is probably only pushing one PSI. It works fairly well. But surprisingly push it up to five just to see. But it reaches temperature rather quickly. And the cool thing about this, actually that's kind of loud, I'll turn it down. The real cool thing about this is when you have a naturally aspirated ribbon burner, you can make it forced air if you need it to be. So if you reach higher temperatures and your porch can actually reach, just take a hose or something, stick it in here, and then turn the fan on. But you can't really do it until you're either over 10 PSI, well, with the orifice size that I have, or if it's already nice and hot, and you can put the airflow on. But other than that, I prefer the naturally aspirated over the forced air. Because I'm not getting a big dragon's breath. There's no dragon's breath at all. Really. Because my orifice is so small. It's like the perfect mixture. And it's already starting to get hot in there. Let's turn it up a bit. But it makes an awful humming sound until it's hot. Which is strange. simple forge too. A lot of people, oh, you gotta use castable, you gotta do all this and that. This is just your standard grill propane forge, like that one. Cut a hole in one end. Well, I cut the whole back end off because I welded it back on, but it's got two inches of kale wool. And that's it. Oh no, I have a fire brick in the bottom just to make it level and then I have a quarter inch of zirconium silicate around the hole inside that uh, 100 HT stuff that a lot of people are like oh yeah we gotta get that to, to up the temperature on, on my forage well you know all that really is is this make a milky consistency of 97% zirconium silicate and then the other 3% of some kind of plasticizer, preferably a smectite, like Vegum tea or bentonite, aka kitty litter. I use Vegum tea, it's more expensive, but it works well. And this thing's already getting hot at half a PSI. I can turn this up and the needle doesn't move. So now it's probably about one. I think it's warm enough we can crank it. Let's get it to ten. Watch this backfire. Hey, 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 hey. It always 
says that. I think it's because of the two inch pipe that fills up with gas. But yeah, uh, Venturi. Inch bell, two inch, two inch elbow, two inch pipe, welded to a six by two and a half block. And ladies and gentlemen, that is my naturally aspirated ribbon bearing. And if I want it for a stay, I just hook a hose to it and push air through. If you have any questions about building one of these for yourself, or you need help designing a natural ribbon burner, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. No, I'm just, I don't really care about that. So, if you have any questions, just ask. I don't mind helping anybody. Anyone has questions for anything. Alright, peace.